What is up YouTube, welcome back to another episode of Run World, and apologies for the delay on these videos, I am starting to get some sort of normality to how I want to do this now, um, and clearing up the channel so that I'm only playing a few games at a time. Now, join me in this quest to defeat this Winston Waves, um, there's a lot of problems with it, and it's going to get very exciting and devastating before it gets better unfortunately. Um, so if you want to join along with me, don't forget to subscribe. Now, we are obviously doing this series for the Anomaly side of the release, the 1.5 release. It is modded and all of the mods are mentioned in the description. Or at least the uh, group is that I've saved on Steam. So you can see I've got barbed wire around the fields as a set of wards. The kill box angle is terrible. Um, and the, the setup of the base is looking better now. We're building into the mountain, which there is always risk of the infestations. Uh, as long as you, as far as I'm aware, as long as you actually do the floor, you, with any type of flooring, it makes it less likely to happen. Um, if you leave it raw, of course, it will cause problems. Now, in the research, I am chasing to get some of these military columns, or unity columns, utility columns. Basically just to see what they are like now the utility columns are things like orbital beacons that have got lights built in um, And some other light beacons as well some crystal beacons that allow you to I say beacons columns um, that allow you to Make the decor a lot better as well as line it up. So it's just just things you can get military ones as well Which we'll go to next. Um, I am going to rush Rimatronics because I love Rimatronics the defensive capabilities for a kill box are fantastic, but they are gated by the fact that you need to do loads of research, spend loads of silver, and do lots of testing. They're also expensive to build when you actually finally get there, so there's that too. Now, two solar panels, two wind turbines, and this is just me going over where we're at and just catching up with what we're at before I start moving on. Um, Wave-wise, we're showing wave one. Now, of course, wave one is because we had a problem with the waves. And we're going to have a lot more. Now, I am not going to reset any more waves. I'm going to let it go. If we die, I'll just restart and we'll learn from our mistakes. Or at least my mistakes. Um, but yeah, we had a raid come in that was... So, we had wave... I can't remember what the numbers were. Apologies. But basically, the, the wave before last was sort of 20 or 30 people. Uh, the one after that was 690. Now, I'm not entirely sure how it works. The settings show that they should increase by 1.5. Before wave 20, they should increase by 1.5 per wave. So, 20 plus 1.5 is 30, if my math is correct. Um, how you get to 600 from that math, I will never know. And up on res the only way I can fix it is by changing the settings, but to make it actually take them settings, you have to reset the waves. If you do it mid, it just doesn't seem to make any difference. Now we are coming down and we're gonna take out this mechanical thing to get that unlocked. Of course, this isn't part of the anomalies change. This is what we already have, which is why I rushed it. Um, a lot of firepower though, as you can see. Some shotguns, hang on, and a few other bits that it requires to actually make the difference. You've got that random Wookiee Chewbacca thingy. Oh, there it goes. And for pow. That's a lot of that's a lot of fire. Holy crap. That's a lot of fire. Maybe if there was that much fuel in there, I could have stole it before I blew it up. But never mind. But yeah, now it's safe. We can grab that and go and implement it to get to that next stage. 3.7 days away from the next wave, which of course is going to be an easy wave because it is level 1. Um, so let's just jump ahead. Unless anything happens, we'll just jump ahead so that you're not going to fall asleep on me. Never mind, while we're waiting on the time for that, I will activate the beacon and we'll send over our guy to do so. See, he's now researching it. This will unlock the anomaly stages, and this is where you get in the whole horror side. Now, as far as I'm aware, the whole anomaly update is about the horror fear, uh, searing pain and stuff, and you get these monsters that come from the, the abyss and appear and then disappear. It's quite terrifying. 
Um, you can see there. If you want to read that yourselves, you can pause it. If you want me to do voiceovers, by the way, where I read it out to you, also let me know. Um, though I ain't the best reader because I am dyslexic. So, yeah, you probably don't want that unless you do want to laugh. It's up to you. Let me know in the comments and I will do that should you need. Else, I'm going to let you pause it and read it yourselves. And again, just to come in, I've sped it up a little bit while we do this and I'm waiting for the time. But you can see we have unlocked the original or the, the, the first stage of Rimatronics, which is why you can see this building here. I am building is specifically for it. The Rimatronics process is slow but also it needs a lot of space the research the buildings and the, and the tables and research desks you have to build are huge and you have to build a lot of them here is one of our first terrifying items the invisible sight stealer as it's called and that is fighting that guy which isn't our problem right there's a horrible noise and it got wrecked. It got wrecked by the Wookiee. But now the Wookiee is... Oh no, the Wookiee's having a nap. That's embarrassing. So this terrifying monster comes out, tries to beat up the Chewbacca. Chewbacca beats it up and then just sleeps next to it like it never happened. Oh gee. Here we go. Wave one point something. Two enemies. I suppose the interesting factor is that each of the waves from now is it going to go two people then six people then nine thousand million people it's unclear that's the problem i've been having but i am going to be winston the whole purpose of this is to get to wave 100 i believe it stops there uh it, within the settings it doesn't seem to have one past 100 and at that point i expect it does the maximum which is twenty-five thousand points um, which is judging from what it's been sending when it sends nine sorry when it sent 600 it was using around six or seven thousand points so you could then times that by four and that's what like wave 100 is going to be which is terrifying if it's going to send six twelve eighty two and a half thousand I, i'm not sure my computer can handle that um, but we'll, we'll, we'll figure it out. The whole purpose here, the whole purpose for Season 2 is to beat Winston Waves to 100 and escape the planet. Simple as that. Nice and simple objectives, but getting to Wave 15 or 20 without getting mutilated is proving very difficult. The settings are, of course, on Brutal, so you would expect that they are equally as difficult. Um, and there's no like game changing broken mods installed where you can turn something somebody into a god or they become immortal etc obviously the standard game has uh, vampires as it calls them sanguines i think or sanguines a mood that makes them really happy actually can't remember but yeah there, there is like vampire type things in here and death rest that allows them to not die uh, they just have to sleep it off. So that's quite cool. We'll hopefully see some of those. Um, but yeah, you can see they're working very hard now on that research room, which will be a research room as well as the Rimatronics room. As you can see, I'm moving the stuff over now. And we could probably use that area to make the hospital bigger, which is going to need it. Okay, into wave two now. And that is only, what, three people or so? So see what happens after this. Now, of course, I'm not going to bring you back for every single wave, uh, especially at this early early stage where it's the low levels. I want to get us back to where we were, and then we'll go from there. I'm just keeping you along on the journey that I'm trying to tweak things to make it be difficult. I want it to be difficult. I want it to be very difficult, but I don't want it to be impossible. Then if anybody wants to play along, I can tell them what settings to use to give the same output, basically. Um, of course, I also should by then have the knowledge to be able to make it slightly easier or slightly harder if you wish. Um, but we'll have to wait and see. The barbed wire there is good because even though they are coming towards us in this awful angled kill box. I mean, it's not even really a kill box, is it? The barbed wire will slow them down significantly to allow us to hit them while they struggle. And we win. Excellent. I mean, I expected that, right? And we're back at wave eight. You can see a few upgrades. Mostly it's Rimatronics with the 
Tesla from Rumatronics being included. The Tesla though is the testing one where you have to, you're only allowed one and it has to do so much damage before you can build it anymore. You can see I've, I've brought you back for the reason that we are on wave eight and there's 12 people. Um, I've brought you back for the reason that when it gets to wave nine, you can see what I mean. Again, I said I am not going to make any changes and I am not. We are going to continue to play regardless of how bad it gets. And if we die, I would just start again with the tweak settings from the beginning. We will eventually beat this. And again, if you want to join along with me, then let me know and I can do some settings in some sort of document or something. Shouldn't be too difficult um, to show you. There's not actually many settings to change. It's nothing in the XMLs or anything. It is within the mod options only. Uh, and the dev menu. Uh, you may need the dev menu depending because it's the dev menu I use to reset the waves, to reset the settings. Scratch that. Um, I Wave 9 was fine. I obviously got very discombobulated with what waves I'm on because it's been about four or five tries before this before I actually just decided to leave it alone. So we've jumped over now to wave 13. You can see we've made a decent progress. I've actually built up the kill box and put down plenty of Teslas which we can now make from the Rimatronics. Now they are really good at everything but mechanoids. They are decent with the mechanoids because they stun them. They don't really do much damage. But with organics like people and Chewbacca's and animals, they are reasonably good. If they don't do damage to kill, the burn damage from the electric uh, knocks them down anyway. So Now you can see I've got a decent amount of money from all the crap I have sold because that is what I do. I do love to use the trading and from previous we did fix that problem now so traders are actually working they're not very often and I'm not going to install a mod to speed them up I like it that I have to store and hold on to things or I can bin them and waste the money but so you can see on the left hand side there was a line there of items of the Teslas and the idea is the guys the, the, the people are forced through over the barbed wire over the moats the door is open right where our guys stand, which forces them to path in. If you block the path so you don't have the doors open, they will just sap and go through walls. If you have an open door all the way to your buildings and your storage, they will go through the kill box. Now getting these droids down, or robots, whatever you want to call them, uh, the haulers are fantastic for just doing the menial jobs that you guys never seem to get around. They're also good for cremating corpses and taking corpses to the crematorium or just your burial sites, whatever it may be, because they, of course, aren't bothered by seeing them. And if your people go into a burial site where there's loads of dead corpses, the mood debuff will be terrible. So here we go with wave 13, 26 not so bad so far so good in terms of the number increments uh, again it's still set to 1.5 so we'll see how that goes some utility military utility ones there them them two at the front are the cluster ones so if anything goes near them enemy wise they explode throwing shrapnel out like a grenade over a certain area um, and the ones at the back are stun ones so if anybody actually finally gets right up to where my guys are they are stunned. It only works once though, so we have to be quick. There are some turrets along that right hand side. They're just free ones I got with the rewards from other waves. I just chucked them down there on that double wall. They're a bit crap. And when they blow up, they cause so much damage, it's unreal. I did have some mines you can see there as well that have all gone up, so I put them too, too, too close together. The problem with this wave and the reason nothing exciting is happening or too exciting is happening is because it has a modifier of sniper. So all of the enemies have sniper rifles, they severely outrange us, so they can shoot all of my turrets and walls as they are doing, though they are really crap at aiming. Um, but they can shoot them from a distance that is outside the distance of the testers or any of my guys so I brought my guys over to try and see if we can increase that range slightly likely though I'm gonna have to go ball steep and just walk into them uh, using the trees or any surfaces as cover that we can of course we can't walk through the kill box because 
the moat and the bot wire will slow us down so much that that'd be a death trap. Actually, just let my guys go back to what they were doing. As long as they don't leave the base, it'll be fine and see what happens. Now, the enemies are going to do one of two things. They're going to move closer and get tesla Or they're going to starve to death. Not sure which will come first. And that fire is definitely going to burn hard. And I keep forgetting to install the mod that stops metal from burning. Because that really annoys me. Metal walls should not burn. And the... The moats definitely shouldn't burn, because how does a moat burn? But also the barbed wire burns. It, uh, it, it blows my mind. So as you can see, I'm going to try and bring them around here. Go around the back, out. There is a door that I can get out there, but whether that will work or not, let's find out. Okay, this is a brutal bloodbath. It's sort of working. When people are getting damaged enough where it matters, I am obviously rescuing them best I can. Luckily, they have the range with the sniper rifles, but they are so shy to aim in them. Um, it could have gone a lot worse. Now, we broke it down about, what is that, 75%, 80%? There you go, the one's just dropped. So if we now run and try and get our guys into hospital and sorted, I have activated the drones, but I'm telling them to not go into, obviously, that area because uh, let it burn as far as I'm concerned. It's only resource, well, a few resources, a couple of weapons, mostly plants and barbed wire that's burning and to be honest if it burns the plants that would do me a favor because it would give them any less things to hide behind you can see there one of the fire poppers went off which stopped that from burning uh, i'm not sure it looks like the, th yeah, the fourth one up was destroyed um, so i'll just set the base up ignore them hopefully they'll get bored and move on they've only got what i can see is like four people left so we'll just get a base built up We'll take this time while they're not really doing much. We can also repair the testers as they're shooting them. And to be honest, they miss so much that they're not going to really out damage uh, one of the robots repairing it. Or one of the people, sorry, repairing it. I don't have a construction robot, so they won't do that. But I'll let them clean up at the very least and get all of that fire foam cleaned up. And there we go, it worked. So now it's wave 14 and that's another 30 or so people. That's with two times as well. So that's to be expected, a double double expectation of, of the amount of points used as well. Meanwhile, we're still building up. I've moved this back right hand side here. I'm gonna turn that into my crafting room. So all of the buildings there that build and craft and upgrade or dismantle, etc., will be put into there. You can already see that the research room is good to go with a sterile floor which dramatically increases the speed as well because with your hospital needing sterile floor to stop people getting infections the cleaner a research lab is the faster they can research now nothing really too exciting happened until we got to wave 19 and the numbers are insane you can see there we had some kangaroos attack but nothing that we couldn't handle um, wave 19 has 130 people and I'll be honest this is where it goes to shite so we are going to obviously continue to watch what happens but don't be alarmed if we die we will reset don't panic them trees by the way in the top right there that uh, eat the corpses they're brilliant for keeping corpses down saves any time just go and dump them next to them the trees eat the corpses and grow more trees and they don't look terrible either, so I'm quite impressed with that. Just going to set a safe zone here so that the gardening bot can continue to do gardening. Um, even if we are under attack. Nine hours left before they come, so let's push that trigger and get them here now. Here we go. Look at the shade of black from the shadows from their capsules. That is ridiculous. 132 enemies incoming. They are, I believe, going to attack immediately. And there is a fair amount of lag there as well from uh, them loading and breaking out. At least we get a lot of steel because there's all them, uh, all of them steel slag that we can transmit. Now, while this is happening, there is a modifier as well. The modifier is a firestorm, so that's what you can see in here. So it's going to be killing, breaking, and setting fire to things without us even being involved. Now, yes, I have one person. The one person is because the others got wiped out by the, the wave before. And I could have showed that, but to be honest, I'm just going in here for what actually happens because 
clearly the same as a word. Right. So I do have the Holy Grail that is a lot of Teslas. Uh, the Teslas, of course, are our only defense. And if they run out of power, we are screwed. Now, they're firing arrows. Yes, arrows. Arrows that are on fire, but arrows nevertheless. And realistically, they shouldn't be able to do anything too drastic. But the sheer numbers are just too much to take. My guy that did survive has been sent away, just in case. But we know where this is going. That's what I brought you back for. And that is where we're going to end the episode, just so that we know for the next episode we're going to start fresh. And I'll do some testing before I even start this time, so that I know that we are good to go and the expectations are what they are without catastrophe. So as we move through this, and honestly, it just went from bad to worse. Also, the fact that my base is built out of wood, which normally I would blame me on, but the fact that the mod's not installed, so even if I build it out of metal, it'd still burn anyway. Um, they went everywhere. They destroyed everything. They destroyed every building. I did have the guy come in that comes to save you, the man in black. Uh, as per, though, he's pretty useless. I mean, that one guy is not going to be able to take out... A hundred or so people. 71 actually remaining. So we're about halfway down. So we wiped out about half of them. Of course, that will be predominantly the Teslas, of course, before they were destroyed. And they did get destroyed. The Teslas don't do area damage. They do singular damage. And even though they killed one or two people, the time it takes for them to reset, uh, they were just outnumbered. You can see on the map all the dots and just everything. So again, this is our man in black, and he's got a bit of backup come to wipe him out as well. And there he goes, that is our last two people. Look at the state of it. But don't panic. We will reset, I will reset anyway, and we'll do it again. I am going to do some testing off camera and make sure that when I do the reset that it is going to be a series that we can be proud of. And Winston is not going to defeat us. For now, though, he has, or at least some real dodgy mathematics has, and we're going to have to start again. Settings will all be the same, everything will be the same, I'm just going to fix the levelling, whatever it is that's causing the problem, and then we'll go again. In the meantime, thank you very much for watching. If you like the video, please click like, any comments are welcome. As always, don't forget to subscribe so that you get to see the next episode and episodes. It won't be long, uh, so don't worry. I'm going to keep up with Rimworld along with Oxygen Not Included and Minecraft. Again, thank you very much for watching. Take care. Goodbye.